and I'm live. Good morning, good morning. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, my name is Kate Stoltz and I started a portrait yesterday. So I still had, I didn't really have time to finish everything. Uh, so I wanted to go through and finish it up and I decided I'm gonna welcome you guys into the live stream. Um, I also wanted to give an update on one of the paintings that I did. I put it on auction about a week ago. Um, it's the Euphoric Abstract. So it was quite an interesting journey because I listed it on eBay and it sold on Saturday. I was so excited. I was like, yes, the painting sold and somebody was interested in buying it. And I'm so excited because, um, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to create artwork and allow the people that follow me or are interested in my work to be able to purchase a piece. Um, I signed the piece at the bottom. So just in case somebody that wants a signed piece from me has the opportunity to get something. Um, and so it sold on Saturday. I was super excited. I packed it up right away. I was like, this is so awesome. <laughs> um, I get to paint and, you know, somebody actually wants it. So then fast forward to uh, you know, I finished packing it, I carefully packaged it in a box, and I went to print the shipping label, and eBay sent a warning to me saying, oh, you shouldn't send it out until the payment is finalized. And I was like, oh, okay, that's annoying. Like, they probably just forgot about it, so I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put everything in the box. I wrote a nice thank you letter to the person that bought it, and I put everything in the box, and everything was ready to go except for printing the shipping label. Uh, so I was like, they probably forgot about it or whatever. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And this is a story for other artists, or even if you're just like listing things on eBay, um, you know, especially if you're, you know, s selling something or if you're letting something go on a bid, do not send it out until the payment is finalized because they could be a scammer, which is what ended up happening. Um, fast forward to this morning, I was like, okay, well, Actually, another interesting tidbit into that is the highest bidder sent me a message saying, can you please send a close-up? Can you please send close-ups to my cell phone? And I was like, I am not going to text a stranger from my cell phone because I would have to change my number. Uh, I've had stalkers in the past. I can't share my cell phone number with the public. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, so I sent a couple of close-ups to the picture to on eBay, uh, using that as my method of communication because I was like, I don't, I don't know this person. They could be a very nice person. They could be, you know, the best person in the world and no harm. But I also don't know who they are. So you have to be careful online. You have to be careful with the way that you communicate with people, um, especially if you're a young girl or it's, you know, if you're a public figure, if you're anybody you know, because there are people out there that will take your information and they'll run with it. So I was like, I'm not going to text a stranger. Uh, that's kind of a weird request. Like I'll communicate through eBay and that's going to be the way that I communicate. So uh, I went to contact the seller or the highest bidder this morning because I was like, if they don't want it, I'm going to give it to the person that, um, I was, Fangirl0023, do you have a link to bid on this? Um, you can go to my my uh, profile. I have my link tree. I finally created a link tree. Some people, I've had several people tell me, oh, you need a link tree so that, you know, we can see everything in one glance. So it's in my link tree. It's still on eBay. I'm going to leave it on there for another day. And then if it doesn't sell through that, I'm going to contact the, the other people that bid on it. And if it doesn't sell by tomorrow morning, I'm going to be relisting it on my site. So what I ended up doing was I, I decided I'm not going to work through eBay anymore. Uh, this decision was made um, before this happened. I was like, you know, the eBay seller fees are insane. It's like 12%. And I didn't realize that before I started listing through eBay. And I was like, 12% is a lot. Like by the time you have your shipping fees and your like cost and then there's like 12%. That's just insane, especially since the majority of the people that are bidding on it are people that like I bring onto the platform. So it just doesn't make sense for me to go and pay another platform 12% when I'm bringing the people in anyway. Um, 
So that decision was made before then. So for the next 24 hours, it'll be on my eBay. If it doesn't sell before then, I'm going to relist it on my website and I'm just going to start the rebid. I'm just going to start the bidding process all over again because I like it. Um, I don't know if you can see the pictures up close, but there's some of my most favorite. I created it for the upcoming winter because I, I deal with like seasonal depression. So I'm always looking for ways to get through the winter in a happy, positive way. And this was my way of kind of exploring paint and colors and uh, energy happiness uh, through artwork. And I think that the colors around us really affect our feelings and the way that we feel. So um, I wanted to create something especially for the winter. But anyway, fast forward to this morning, I went to send the invoice because it was like, you know, whatever, the person probably just forgot. They don't realize that they had to finalize the bid and, and everything. So, uh, so I was like, you know, I'm always trying to think that people are, have good intentions. And I went to send the invoice and I, I clicked send invoice and didn't send. It said this user is no longer, uh, it's, it's no longer open on, on eBay. Like they deactivated their profile poof, they're gone. Like they're gone. And I'm just so grateful that I didn't send it out because if I would have sent it out when I was originally planning to, I wouldn't have the art piece anymore. And I can guarantee that I would never get paid for it. So it would just be, you know, I, I, I don't want my work to be going to a scam artist. I don't want it to be going to somebody that isn't like genuine. Cause I just feel like that's, and it, it was, Frustrating on my end, but it was also frustrating because I knew that all the other people that bid on the piece were bidding against somebody that wasn't going to go through with it. So they were outbid by somebody that wasn't planning on paying for it. So it was it was frustrating for me in that aspect because I do everything I can to, you know, ensure a positive customer experience, ensure that everybody is, you know, I, I really try very hard to make sure that people have a good experience with me. And if, if they don't, I try to correct it. So it was frustrating on, with for me in that aspect as well. But it is what it is. I still have the art piece, which is a good thing. And uh, I know that it's going to go to somebody that loves it eventually. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, we have to look at the good, good at everything, right? So take it from me, learn from me and, and, and what I dealt with. Don't, if you're listing something on the internet, don't send it out until it's paid because I like to see the good in people, but there are some people out there that, you know, they'll, they'll do everything they can to get something for free. And, uh, you know, we got to protect ourselves. So um, I'm going to start working on the art piece. I usually listen to music when I'm painting because that's part of, you know, it, it calms me down and helps me to enjoy the process. So if you decide to continue watching, I recommend putting on some music for yourself. Uh, I have construction going on right outside my window. So it's a little loud, a little annoying. So if you plan on continuing watching for your own experience and your user experience, I recommend you uh, turn off the sound and put, put on some of your own music so that you can have, so you can enjoy. And um, as for this one, this one is called Blue Portrait One. Uh, I see a lot of comments. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly go through the comments on Instagram. Thank you everyone that joined and is watching. Uh, Johnny Rico says you always look nice. Thank you. Uh, this is what I wear to paint. I don't know if you can see my pants, but I have paint all over. I put this on. This is kind of like my uh, my protective armor because I don't want to just ruin all of my clothes. So I keep this hanging and I only wear it when I'm painting. So, uh, yeah. Tainer Harmon says, I've loved you since you first came on TLC. Your drive and love for the world got you where you are today. Thank you. That's a super, thank you for following me <laughs> along the way. I mean, that, you know, I did, I went on TLC, I started doing that show over 10 years ago. So if you followed me from the beginning, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate that. Uh, hello from North Carolina. Well, hello from to you, wherever you are in the world. Um, 
Manju says, you're my role model and an inspiration. That's very sweet. Um, learn from my good points and my mistakes. Don't make my mistakes, right? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to be continuing. I'm going to be starting to work. Um, but thank you to everybody that joined. I'm just going to get to work and uh, hopefully I'll get this done now, but it's already listed on my site. Uh, just what you'll see when you go is you'll see the way it is right now. Just know it's not complete yet. I'm going to be updating uh, the finished portrait probably around one or two. So if you are interested in bidding on it, but you don't want to bid on it until you have the until you see the final piece, maybe set an alarm on your phone for 3 p.m. today and or whatever time you know you're going to have a little bit of a break. And then you can come back, check it out. And if you like it, you can place a bid. So it's a starting bid is at $20. And hopefully this time there will be no stammer and somebody that actually wants to pay for the painting is going to buy it. So uh, we'll see. I have a bit of tea this morning. It's uh, November, so. My body is fighting to stay healthy and work through the winter. But all right, I'm probably not going to be talking a lot anymore, so. If you're an artist and you have tips for me, feel free to leave pointers because, you know, I do, I do love working with art, uh, with paint and everything, but there's so much that I have to learn and I've found that the best, like, I love feedback. So if you guys have feedback that you want to share uh, to where I can improve on my technique, leave it in the comments. I welcome it. That's how we can learn, right? So I have the face almost done. I just need to finalize the hair. That was basically where I was at when I was uh, had to leave for something.
just FYI, I'm not teaching in our class. I'm far from being at that point of my expertise. So, uh, is anybody that has any feedback as an art professor and is looking at me with horror, <laughs> forgive me. Um, Almost done. Just needs a couple finalized touch ups.
right, that's my timer. I have to, I have to leave soon. Uh, for those of you that just joined, I am making, I'm finalizing the blue portrait number two. Um, I have it listed on my website. I decided to not work with eBay anymore because uh, of the high fees that they're charging. They charge like 12%, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I'm listing it on my website. I already have the listing up. Uh, the, the listing that's there shows it what it was before I uh, started working on it this morning. But it's the starting bid is $20. Um, I'm going to be uploading the final piece. I'm almost done. I'm just going to uh, do a couple more touch-ups and sign it at the bottom. And then I'm going to list it. So it's on my website. Just go to my link tree. I have it listed in my YouTube, in the YouTube description and also in my Instagram uh, bio. If you just go to my bio, uh, you'll be able to go right to my link tree and then go to my website. It's under auctions. Um, I don't have a direct link, but... I'll explain it again to you, just in case you want to. Just in case you want to slide in, you don't have to search. Uh, just go to my link tree, which is in uh, my bio on Instagram, and then once you go to my the go to the link tree official website, and then on my website you'll see auctions uh, listed in the header. So you, if you just click on there, you'll see it right away. Uh, starting bid is twenty dollars. Uh, finalizes. I think next Monday. Um, so you have about a week to enter your bid and we'll see where it goes. But uh, thank you for joining me this morning. I have to I have to go run out and I have to quickly change clothes, clean up. I have to go run an errand, but I will, uh, I'm going to finalize the picture. I'm going to take pictures and post it on my website. So by, I would say by 2 p.m. today, you'll see the finalized pictures and you'll be able to know exactly like what you're, uh, what you're looking on. But uh, for those of you, if anybody stayed for the entire time, thank you. <laughs> I hope you were listening to music or something because I wasn't really talking, I was just working. But um, thank you to everybody that joined and it's Monday. Uh, I love Mondays. Sometimes they're a little harder because it's hard to get back into work after the weekend, but I do love the fact that we're now at the beginning of a week and I have so many things that I want to get done during the week. So I see Monday as a way of just being able to dive head first and get into stuff that I really need to get done. The rest of the day, I have some sewing that I have to do. Um, I have some, I have a skirt that I need to finish and I have a bunch of, uh, I have a bunch of, work that I need to do and then I have a couple orders to pack so it'll be a fun day it'll be uh it'll be another Monday but I love Mondays because it's 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 a good day where I can just get back into work and, and finalize the stuff that I've been thinking about all weekend so enjoy the rest of your day uh to those of you I've never been so alone in my life to Dan Superman I'm so sorry to hear that um I will say winter is really hard. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but if you are alone, you feel alone, um, make sure to check in with yourself and, and to uh, realize that it's okay to be alone. Uh, I, I think one of the hardest things about being alone is whether or not you love yourself. And if you're struggling with your uh, perception of yourself, then it's a little bit harder to be okay with being alone. Uh, but I hope that feeling gets better a little bit sooner. Um, it sounds like uh, he says that all we do is fight. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you can figure it out. But um, I wish you the best with that. <laughs> um, but anyways, I got to go. I got to jump out and uh, set my alarm because I need to go run an errand. But for everybody out there, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday. Make sure to enjoy it instead of uh, feeling like the dread because it's here whether we like it or not. So we might as well be happy, enjoy it, and have fun with it, right? All right. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.
And I just ended my Instagram Live, but I'm going to be hopping out here soon. Um, to those of you that joined and enjoyed the rest of the entire show, you know what? Let me just go through my comments because I just finished my Instagram. Um, the White Wizard, you are amazing. You know that? You, you're always very positive. You always join and you comment. And I love... I'm very flattered that you keep joining me, uh, but thank you. Great paintings. Uh, Steve says, hi, Kate. Painting looks very good. Thank you very much. Um, Steve, you're always incredibly positive and encouraging, and you've been supporting me and following me for years. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And then Michael, watching you create is cathartic to me. My great-grandfather and great uncle were oil painters. I remember them mixing the colors, putting the oil onto the canvas. Oh, and the smell of turpentine. Yeah, oil paint is, it's, it's a different beast than acrylic. Um, it's so much harder to clean the paint brushes because it dries so much faster and you have to use like, you have to use like a special cleaner to clean up. And if you get it anywhere, it's, it's a disaster to clean. Um, Maybe I'll eventually get into oil paintings right now. I'm into acrylic. Uh, so I'm going to really finesse myself, finesse my technique and everything, and uh, maybe get into oil paintings. But yeah, um, I come from a long, uh, there were a lot of people in my family that were artists as well. My sister, uh, she was a professional artist for many years. Uh, she doesn't really paint a lot anymore, uh, but she used to sell to, there was this like a uh, craft market that my uncle and aunt ran. And my sister would sell her paintings through there. She sold a lot of paintings. She was always painting. Um, so she slowed down a bit since, you know, she got married and has kids. But I, you know, she was really good. She would do wildlife. She would paint tigers and deer and, like, all kinds of animals. It was, it was amazing. She was really good. Uh, so, yeah. And then I have a uh, – there, there was an uncle. There were two uncles. I think they were, like, great uncles. Uh, they actually left the Amish, but they were they were artists and they would create three D art, which is they would have like the background where they would paint the sky and some background imaging, and then they would they would create like barns and trees out of wood. They they basically combined the art of carpentry and carving and painting. So they would carve things out of wood and then they would paint them and put them on. And there were basically three layers of, of painting and the work they did was outstanding. So it was amazing. All right. I got to, I got to bounce out, but thank you for joining me. Um, genuinely appreciate it. All right. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. It's Monday and we're going to enjoy it. Right. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everyone.